What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jake here, aka Brushstrokes. Today I'm going to be using my SPTA mini cordless polisher for the very first time. We're going to go ahead and do it live and give my honest feedback and see how this thing works. So I decided to go with, they call this the Japanese wool disc. I'm using the one inch backing plate and we're going to start out with the rotary feature of this. Uh, if you didn't watch the previous unbox video with this, um, I'll link it up here and then down below in the comments as well. Um, but I'll tell you all the different pads, everything that comes with this. Um, I'll also have a link to this um, to the Amazon link too down below um, as long as it's still available because these come and go on Amazon. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this loaded up. We're going to go ahead and get started on this. I should show you what we're doing, but this is a KitchenAid mixer bowl that I did. Did my, uh, this is kind of my own creation. I call it Eternal Flames. But it's kind of unique. I had never seen it done before. Just kind of an idea I had and brought to life. One of my customers wanted it on his KitchenAid mixer. So... Um, and I did have a couple spots where I denibbed it. Oh, there's a couple little dirt specks. Let me see where it's kind of dulled off, where I've sanded it. Oh, there's another dirt nib somewhere. But yeah, I had a huge sag in it too. From like from here, kind of like danced around, went all the way up over into here as you can see the gloss and then no gloss you can see where i've sanded it yeah there's another yeah there's another little dirt nib that i got out so we'll go ahead and start with these nibs on the bottom here we will start out with the wool japanese and i'm using my csi ceramics polish that i always use keep it simple one product they have their own two pads but they don't make them in these sizes so we're going to test these out i'm going to go ahead and get this on my surface start it out at one and let the product get injected into the pad we'll work it around our area Go ahead and start speeding it up here. We're on speed two. Speed three. Speed four. I found these really awesome microfiber towels on Amazon. They're super soft and thick. And they work awesome, especially on black stuff. So, all right. I'm absolutely in love. Just the wool. And as you can see, I was sand it all right in this area. And as you can see, it's glossed all the way back up that quick. But part of that's due to my sanding as well. I did go 1500, 2000, 2500. And I did make sure to refine all my scratches all the way up. So it makes it much easier for cutting and buffing so as you can see here we got like this whole section to do that kind of comes 
down right there too. So I think I'm just gonna go normal speed for this actually since it doesn't seem like it's gonna take very long. So I'm loving these Japanese wool pads too. So I don't know if it's the pad or what, but cut super fast and probably not gonna be able to tell on camera, but I can't see any scratches at all. I haven't even used like a refining pad yet. So, all right, let's get the rest of this done. Cool little feature I just found out. When you shut it off, it always restarts back at one, which is awesome. So you're not flinging polish everywhere. I'm not even applying a whole lot of pressure with this either, so. Must be this pad that's really working good. Fairly easy to control with one hand too, but like I said, I'm not applying a whole lot of pressure. Let's try a little pressure. Yeah, even with some pressure, it's not, you know, moving all over the place. That's me doing that, but holding it steady. It wants to dance a little bit when you're putting some pressure. The more pressure, the more it's dancing, but. Maybe that's just the one inch disc too. I'm used to three inch and seven inch, so those things can really throw, really throw the polisher all over the place. Expecting for scratches. You guys probably aren't going to be able to tell. But I'm looking around the camera here. Yeah, everything's almost all, all gone. Everywhere that I hit, good at least. Alright, got a new favorite toy. I'm absolutely in love. Go buy it. Another thing, this is this isn't it's not just good for you know polishing clear coat or finishing too like sanding little stuff little areas like 
but getting around here i did all by hand with this i could have you know got a lot more precise a lot closer instead of you know having a three inch disc or or whatever but yeah it's gonna make life easy man i really love this thing this japanese wool thumbs up man japan always makes the awesomest stuff so i guess i shouldn't have expected any less but all right i'm gonna finish polishing this up um then i'll probably do a bunch of other stuff i'll wear this battery down so we can kind of see how i'll wear it all the way down i'll charge it up um then i'll come back edit that into this re rest of this video and finish out the video with my final thoughts on it but that was my very initial use and i'm pretty ecstatic about it so far so that's the spta mini cordless polisher one and two inch backing plates i will leave the link below to amazon if they still have it these come and go kind of hard to find sometimes but until the next one Keep those brushes stroking.